I did a phone call one day from Mr. Robert Kurtzman, who I know from Doppelganger, and he says, uh, I have a script that you have to produce. It's called From Dusk Till Dawn. It's written by a guy named Quentin Tarantino. I said, well, let me take a look. And Reservoir Dogs was out, and Pulp Fiction was being made, and this was going to be set up as his follow-up. So nobody knew what Pulp Fiction was going to be doing just yet. So I brought it over to uh, uh, Trimark Pictures, Roger Burlidge, and, and they were very happy to make a deal, and I was setting the thing up lickety-split. And as fast as that happened, Quinton's people, and I was going to do it for $2 million. As fast as that happened, Quinton's people uh, figured out how to do uh, how to go into the marketplace and raise $8 million for the project. So I get another phone call from Robert Kurtzman and says, look, the reason why we brought it to you, quite frankly, is we were in the movie theater watching Vamp. And after Quentin saw Vamp, he says, I got this great idea from, for a movie from Dust Till Dawn. And then we went off and he developed it. And, and it was appropriate for us to bring it to you. We, quite frankly, don't want to get sued for plagiarism. And I said, uh, well, you know, I'd like to have continuing relationships with you guys. Let's, let's see if we can think of something that makes sense. And Robert proposed that he was uh, developing a, a script with, um, I wish I could remember names more quickly, Michael Esposito, uh, or John Esposito, and, and, and it's called The Demolitionist. And I read the script, and it needed a lot of work. And then Robert proposed that he would pay all the costs of development. He would direct the movie for virtually free. He would pay almost all of the costs of the cinematographer who he had in mind for it. And everybody in his shop who rode a motorcycle, and I didn't quite say that right, everybody in his shop rode a motorcycle. And all of them would appear as extras in the movie for a screen credit. Well, that's pretty much a ticket to get another movie made and a way to do it. And so I thought, rather than be an impediment to make somebody drop an $8 million budget to $2 million and make them make a movie, I'll just absolve them of all sin and not sue them for plagiarism and let them make their $8 million deal. In return, I'll have the benefit of owning The Demolitionist directed by Robert Kurtzman with Mr. Esposito and, and all of these benefits that are keep getting thrown in. It, if you look at our final budget of Demolitionist that was well under $2 million, it would have been impossible for us to afford everything that Robert Kurtzman brought to the table if he didn't just throw it in. Now, I have an understanding of how much money he personally made on From Dusk Till Dawn. He was not being heard on any level financing that undertaking.